Okay. Um, so the longer that you guys go um, refusing to vote in a parental notification policy, the more time everyone has to see that you're truly not on the side of families. The absurdity that you believe a lawsuit can place our rights on pause uh, would be comical if it weren't so serious. From the ruling of a federal judge in California, the Escondido school policy is a trifecta of harm, which is similar to your policy. Number one, it harms a child who needs parental guidance and possibly mental health intervention. Number two, it harms the parents by depriving them of the long-recognized 14th Amendment right to care, guide, and make health care decisions for their children. And finally, number three, it harms the teachers who are compelled to violate the parents' rights by forcing teachers to conceal information they feel is critical for the welfare of their students, violating the teachers' religious beliefs. The judge further added, a student who announces the desire to be publicly known in school by a new name, gender, or pronoun and is referred to by teachers and students and others by said new name, gender, or pronoun can hardly be said to have a reasonable expectation of privacy or expect non-disclosure. Everyone from the bus driver to the cafeteria worker knows about the child's status, except for the parents. How nonsensical to call this an outing policy. We look forward to seeing you vote on the flag policy in the next meeting. The American flag represents every single one of us from the trans to the straight, from religious to atheist, and represents every minority and race out there. There are no lawsuits regarding this policy, which has passed in two school districts with more to follow. In addition, the Redland City Council understands this is a personal speech issue, not city speech. As you should understand, this is not district speech either. Teachers should not be allowed to influence our children with displays of pride flags, badges, banners, etc. You all know the classroom should be neutral. For years, you've had teachers getting away with pushing climate change and Democrat ideology. My older kids experienced this at Mariposa from two different teachers there, Moore and at Rev. It's time to get back to academics. It's time to purge the pride flags and stop towing the party line because we're not tolerating it anymore. And to be clear, those new policies just passed by Newsom, no one is tolerating those either. They're just completely non-unconstitutional. Thank you.